Oh my god! Hello and welcome again to the real story time. We go through and retell the tales of old that you heard as a child. <laughs> Today we look at the story Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Uh, pardon me, it's actually pronounced Goldilocks. Well, that's not as fun. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Goldilocks, and she had beautiful golden locks. She lived in a pretty house right at the edge of the forest, you know, away from all the blacks. Each morning, she liked to play in front of a house, gathering flowers, destroying nature, peeing on the street. And one day, she decided she wanted to pee on a different street because she's already stenched that street with her urine. Unfortunately, she got too far from home. While she was in the woods, she smelled something delicious. And so she decided to follow that smell to a little cottage. Now, of course, Goldilocks lived a life of privilege and luxury, so she thought she could have anything she wanted, even if it belonged to someone else. She knocked down that door like it was nobody's business. And turns out she didn't really have to because it was left unlocked. For shame. Lock your doors. She soon realized the delicious smell was coming from three bowls of porridge on the table. Now, there was a big bowl, a medium-sized bowl, and a teeny weeny bowl. Goldilocks was so hungry, she disregarded any thought that they might have slaved over making that porridge and decided to chow the fuck down. Mmm, delicious, she cried, but the first bowl was too hot. She threw it on the floor and smashed the bowl. The second one, she said, too cold. So she took it to the microwave and she heated it up. Unfortunately, she left it in there for too long and then it became too hot. She then threw that on the floor as well. Now she wrecked the dining room and the kitchen. The last one was just right, but unfortunately it was too little to feed her appetite, so then she rummaged and ate all the Ritz crackers and Cheez-Its that they had in the pantry. Now, she decided that she wanted to just sit down, you know, when you get the little food coma. So she, just want <laughs> so she wanted to look at the big chair. The big chair didn't have any cushions. The medium chair, too many cushions. Now the teeny weeny chair looked just right. But it was from Fisher Price and she was a grown ass bitch, so she broke that shit in three seconds. Ah, she decided, I don't need this right now. I'm just gonna lay in bed. So she went to the bedroom and she got in the. Girl. Girl! You can't be doing that on people's bed, you nasty ass. Alright. She was just a napping away in that bed. And then all of a sudden the door opened and all she heard was. Hey yo, who's been in my house? Ah, fuck, said Goldilocks, as she tried to figure out what to do. As the bears were looking through the house and the damage, they were screaming and upset. Doris, I thought I told you to lock the door. I did lock the door. That's, that's how that conversation went. It's very short. The bears are very much to the point. Now, Goldilocks tried to be quiet coming down the stairs and almost went unnoticed by the bears, but then her phone went off playing the song, Sweet Caroline. Uh, uh, oh. The bears noticed her and tried to chase her and grab her to ask her what had happened and get their money back for reparations. Unfortunately, Goldilocks was like, nah, bitch, you should have locked your doors. In some ways, she was right. In other ways, she was wrong. The moral of the story is... Always take. Yes, yes, now that is all the time we have for the real story time.